Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna go through all the products that I have in my makeup backup drawer. I saw Aniela Kniquis do this video, I'll link that up in the cards and down below as well, and it really got me thinking, like, what am I actually keeping backups of, and what makes me buy a backup? And I do have a little drawer here, not the full drawer, but most of this are backups that I've bought over the past couple of weeks. So before we jump into all of my backup products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So this is my little drawer right here. I actually have one of those plastic, like, 10 drawer things that I got from TJ Maxx. And so the very bottom drawer are all of my backups, and then I also have... A little Tatcha box. I get sentimental when it comes, well apparently when it comes to shaving cream. I, for some reason, I just like to collect the little like inserts that come with palettes and I never get rid of them. So I have a whole bunch of just like the little like cards that come with palettes in here and they just stay in this box in here. I also keep like my little shaving creams in here. Uh, where I used to work, we got a whole bunch of samples of shaving cream one year, and so I came home with like literally 50 of these like cans. So I haven't had to buy shaving cream in like two years. <laughs> so I just have a couple of extras in here for some reason, because I had nowhere else to put them. My first two backups, I have a Milani Make It Last setting spray. I adore this setting spray. I like to buy it at CVS because you can get coupons and you can use your what is it called? The CVS cash? The cash? Cash box? I cannot for the life of me remember what it's actually called, but you can use those. Oh, extra bucks. They're called extra bucks. Jesus. So you can use extra bucks on these. Uh, it's about $10, but I try to get them when they're on sale or when they're buy one, get one. I love this for whenever I set my makeup. I always do one spray to kind of sink all the powders in together, and then I put on my Skidinavia setting spray. I love this for just melting everything into the skin love it it's also great for touch-ups throughout the day if you're like really really dry and you want to just like add a little bit of just like life to your skin this throw it in your purse or just pick it up at cvs amazing i have a little this is more of a sample as opposed to a backup this is just a clinique take the day off makeup remover i love this for taking off my makeup this is what i would always use before i found my uh bioderma micellar water i do like that more than i like this one and the biodormer biodorma jesus and the bioderma one is a lot more affordable than the clinique one so this one's kind of just a backup right now most likely to use whenever i go traveling or if i'm like i need to like run out and buy a makeup remover another spray i have a backup of is the smashbox photo finish primer water i love this i don't always use it for priming but it's amazing for dry skin amazing especially if you're going for like a matte foundation or a matte look I currently have one open right now. I've been using that as my spray right before I put on my actual finishing spray. Just to sink everything in together. I love it. It's great as a primer. It's a bit pricey, so after this, I'm not sure if I'll buy another one just because I do like the Milani one. The next product that I have is from Physicians Formula. I have a backup of the Butter Bronzer, and this is just in the normal bronzer shade. Let me show you what my one like right now currently looks like. Excuse the mess in this palette, but currently this is my butter bronzer. There is a lot of pen in there. <laughs> so I'm actually, like I've been using this fairly often, but I'm not close to being done with it. So originally when I first hit pan on my butter bronzer, I went out and I bought another one because they were on sale and I had a coupon. <laughs> But it is an amazing bronzer. It's expensive for the drugstore, but not expensive for a good bronzer. And it lasts forever. I've had this one for over a year. And I like, I hit pan a few weeks ago, but I've had it for a long time. Next, I have two eyeliners. I have the Physicians Formula Ultra Black Ultra Fine Precision Liquid Liner. I probably butchered that name. But um, this is the one that you have to get it in ultra black, otherwise the black, it looks more like gray. This is awesome for doing wings. It's a little bit too thick to actually line the rest of my lash line, but for doing an amazing wing and just flicking it and then bringing it back in, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I do have a backup of that. One of my favorite eyeliners for lining the rest of my lash line is from NYX, and this is the Epic Ink Liner. I've tried a couple of their other liners, but the Epic Ink one is by far my favorite. And after, I actually had like three of these at one point. I currently have one open right now, and then I have this one as a backup. It doesn't dry out. I've never had one of these actually dry out. I just follow like the couple of month rule like with mascara, and I throw them out whenever that time comes. 
but they're just so I don't want to say they were juicy but they're juicy <laughs> and the lines that I get out of these they're just so precise they're so black it dries matte it's just such an amazing affordable liner this one's technically not a backup but a duplicate that I got in a ColourPop order. This is the Lippy Pencil in the shade Frenchie. I ordered from ColourPop a while ago. It wasn't the foundation order, it was the one before that. It's just a really bright red lip liner. But the order was delayed and because it was delayed they sent me a cute little note that said sorry we're late and they threw in just an extra Lippy Pencil which was really cute and really nice of them. But I already have this shade and I already have it open in my little drawer of lip liners which I hardly ever use lip liners anyway. Anyway, but it was very cute of them so I just have this in my backup drawer just in case. Next I actually have three lash glues in here. I need to get rid of one of these anyway. This one, this one's totally dried out. <laughs> This one is the Duo Adhesive Brush On Lash Glue. This one, I actually, I had opened this and then I threw it back in here because I didn't like it as much as I did these other two. So this one's actually going to go into the trash. The two actual backups that I have are both from House of Lashes. The first one is the Clear White Lash Glue and then I have the Dark Black Lash Glue. I have used the Clear White one. I haven't worn lashes as often as I thought I would or I hoped I would this year. But when I do, I'm reaching for this lash glue. It is foolproof and I'm not good at lashes like I'm not that good at lashes but this makes it so easy to put them on and they stay on <laughs> they really do like I've tried using other lash glues I tried using the duo I tried using the other ones it just hands down this is the easiest one to use and it stays I haven't tried the black one yet I'm a little worried about how that would look with certain eye looks but you really can't go wrong with the clear one so I currently have a clear one open in my eyelash drawer and then I have these two as backups next let's talk about a couple of concealers the first backup it's more of a sample size but this one's actually a like a large product I got this as like a free sample with a Sephora order this is the Boeing benefit airbrush concealer I have the shade number zero two it's a salmon concealer yeah it doesn't say on here how much product you get in here but the last one of these the same size as this that I had it lasted me months months so this is just a salmon colored concealer I like to pat it under my eyes before I put on my concealer if I'm having like a really bad dark circle day which I do especially like around my period or when I'm just really really tired this helps so much and it was just a free sample with a Sephora order so I got three of these at one point I've totally used up one of them I have one open and then I've got this one that also really helps keep my concealer from creasing like I've had concealers that crease kind of badly but when I put that on underneath it they don't crease as bad like they look awesome the next concealer I actually have backups of are from the Ulta house line this is the Ulta full coverage liquid concealer I have the shade light warm so I have two backups I currently have one open because Ulta had like a buy one get two free sale which was like nuts on their house line they always do sales in their house line it's awesome try this concealer it is amazing it's really affordable they're always on sale and it's just really creamy full coverage and it doesn't crease as bad on me as a lot of other ones do i have fine lines under my eyes so they kind of depending on the day will sink into those a little bit but overall this is an amazing concealer i have two on backup two <laughs> Oof. I feel like that's gonna be a product that I'm always going to have on backup now because it's really hard for me personally to find good drugstore concealers. I tend to like more higher end concealers. I really like the Kylie concealer. I really like the Shoptakai concealer. But for the most part, like throughout my makeup journey, it's been a struggle finding a good drugstore concealer. But before the Ulta concealer and then the Conceal and Define from Makeup Revolution. Those two knock it out of the park. Next, I have a foundation backup from The Ordinary. This is the 1.2N Coverage Foundation. I like the serum foundation better just because it feels a little bit more lightweight. But 1.2N is a good shade for me when it's not the summer. So I did have the serum version of this that I totally used up. So I'm keeping the coverage one just in my backup drawer until it hits like fall or winter again because then it would match me a little bit better. Super affordable foundations, about $6. I think I paid almost, I forgot how much shipping was, but I think shipping was almost more than like the product itself. But if you were going to try this out, I would recommend the serum foundation because it's still like full coverage, but it feels so much better on your skin. Next, I have a backup of my go-to, the NYX Glitter Primer. 
love this to death. It's super affordable, it lasts forever, and it's the only thing that I use to keep shadow on my lid. I have really hooded lids, so it doesn't matter what I'm doing. It's If it's not glitter, but just a shimmer shadow, if it's any shadow that I'm putting on my mobile lid, this goes on before it. So I'm almost done with the first one that I bought, and I bought that months ago, and I'm still going through it. So I'm almost done with it, so I picked up another one of these at Ulta. Next we have my absolute favorite Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. This is in the shade Sailor, so it's still in the little box. I don't want to open this one. I have one that's open that I hit pan on. Let's go through that one. So this is my open one. I've hit a decent amount of pan on it. But this is just, like, it doesn't look like a whole lot in the pan, but this is one of the most beautiful shadows. Let me... It, like, it just, it's got this most beautiful sheen to it. Oh. And when it hits the light just right, oh. It's oh, amazing. I don't know what it is about, like the little sparkles of blue and green and just this neutral creamy shadow that is just, it's my, I think it might be my absolute like favorite single shadow ever. I adore this thing. I'm pretty sure that once upon a time I had two backups of this shadow, but I realized that's a bit ridiculous considering it's a lot of product and I, I know these eventually dry out. I haven't opened it up yet, but I'm hoping that when I get to it, it's not gonna be dried out. So I only have the one backup of this. They better not discontinue the shadow because I love it and I, I might actually like tear up a little bit if they did. Next we have one of my first highlighters and one of my favorites still from Physicians Formula again. This is the Shimmer Strips in Natural Nude. I actually used the top two strips of this so much that I just depotted it because I was getting way too much out of it. Once I depotted it, it kind of fell apart so I mixed all the shadow shadows. So I actually made my own like Franken highlight by mixing all of them together and I pressed them into an eyeshadow pan and then I used that entire highlighter up. So I could break this out again but I have so many highlighters that it's kind of just sitting in my backup drawer until I really feel like reaching for it again. But it is an amazing highlighter. It's got so many great shades in here. You can really mix it just to fit a variety of skin tones. I tend to use the top two, but the bottom two rows have some really nice browns and golds and it's just mwah. All right, and the last product that I have is from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light. I bought this as a backup because this is actually the first like compact, like higher end compact powder that I've almost completely used up and I've loved it. This is what my compact looks like right now. I am literally almost done. There's just a little bit left right there on the end. It's actually gotten to the point where it's a little hard to get the powder out, but I just, I want to see a fully empty hourglass pan. I do. I probably won't throw this out. I'll probably just like put it up and display it somewhere because look at it. It's so pretty. And the packaging is the die for it. Like look at this. Definitely got my money's worth out of this and that's why I have the backup. It's still in the box and everything, but one of the best higher end powders I've ever tried. All right, and I think that's everything. So that's everything in my makeup backup drawer. Let me know down below what you guys thought and if you guys keep any backups. So let me know down below what you thought and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.